Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to complete examples finding static and kinetic friction forces. So our first problem that we're going to be looking at is one involving static friction. We have uh, this problem here. We've been given that the block is not moving. So we have a block on a slope of 30 degrees. Uh, given that the block is not moving, let's find the coefficient of static friction. So we've been given that the mass of the block is 10 kilograms and acceleration due to gravity is 10 meters per second. Per second. Um, so our first step for this kind of problem is we're going to be drawing a free body diagram. So what we need to do is we need to draw in all of the forces that are acting on this block. So the first force that we know is acting on this block is the um, gravity force and that's going to be acting through the center of mass, which would be at the centroid of this block. Uh, and that is going to be acting vertically downwards. Its magnitude is going to be, um, its mass times acceleration gives us a force. So that's just gonna be 10 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared. And that gives us 100 newtons. So that's our um, gravity force. The next, the next force we know is going to be acting is gonna be the normal force. So that is the force um, that the slope is exerting back on this block. And it acts uh, through the center at the base here. Uh, and we'll draw that upwards. And we're going to label that as N for normal. And the you can see that if we were to leave this like this, this would not be in equilibrium. And the force that is actually keeping this, uh, this block still is going to be the friction force. Because the friction force acts in this direction. So it acts perpendicular to, um, it acts in the opposite direction to the movement of the block. So the block is wanting to slide 